What up, everybody? Instruct the Beats back again here with our Crypto Rhythm lesson. Today, we are talking about what are they, right? What is this crazy puzzle over here with letters and not numbers? Some of you watching may be parents who are looking to help your kids whose mean teacher gave them one of these problems and now you're ready to rip your hair out. So our objective today is to understand what these crazy letters mean so that you don't turn into an angry face like this, but instead you are happy, okay? Be happy today after you watch this video. So first of all, let's start off by talking about what this code actually is, right? What is ABA minus CA equals AB? Uh, a cryptorhythm is a mathematical puzzle where the digits of the numbers are replaced with letters. So this is actually just a simple three digit by two digit uh, subtraction problem, but instead of using digits, we, we have replaced them with letters. The important thing is that the same letter will represent the same digit throughout the entire problem. So for instance, if you solve this and you think that A would be three, okay, that means every time you see an A in the subtraction problem, it's going to be a three. If you think B was one, every time you see a B, you could replace it with a one, okay? And so that's something that's really important that a lot of people don't understand when they look at these problems. Now, obviously this is wrong. I wouldn't give you the answer without having you watch our other video how to, how to solve them. And then the third thing that's important is that most of the time, okay, they have a unique solution. There's only one three digit minus two digit number that will give you this answer, okay? Now, sometimes there are multiple solutions and typically when you're answering that question, uh, who has ever given you that problem will let you know, like, hey, this has multiple solutions and if not, we kind of assume that there's only one solution or a unique solution. Let's take a look at the different types of crypto rhythms that you might have seen or might be trying to work on right now. Okay, so you just saw subtraction, and actually if you replaced this, really the digits for this, the only digits that work, would be 101 minus 91 equals 10. So A was one, B was zero, C was nine. All right, if you're like, wait a minute, how did you get there? Check out our video on how to solve subtraction cryptorhythms. Okay, we can't give you everything in one video, then we don't get the views, all right? You might see an addition cryptorhythm, okay? ABC plus ACB equals CBA. And in this case, actually, if you solved it, this is 459 plus 495 equals 954. Okay, you can notice that all the A's are a four, all the B's are a five, and the C is a nine, all right? And then there's also multiplication and division. Typically, you don't see this a lot with division. Uh, typically, you kind of just see subtraction, addition, and then multiplication. So AB times C equals AAA. If you solved this one out, you would see that 37 times nine equals 333. Again, for this one, A was three, B was seven, and then C had to be nine. So all the A's down here were also a three. So these are different types of crypto rhythms. You can actually get crazy with these. These are all base 10. We actually have a video on how to solve base five crypto rhythms. We uh, check that out. You can do this with any type um, of base number system that you want, and then any operation as well. But why would you, right? Why would I want to do these? Why, if you're a teacher, would you assign these? Why, if you're a parent, should you not be mad at your child's teacher for giving them this frustrating problem that's taking them forever to solve, right? Why, 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 why? Number one, it reinforces concepts of different operations. To be able to figure out what each letter represents, you have to understand, you have to truly understand addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. It's going to reinforce concepts of regrouping and then also fact fluency. Regrouping, some people call it carrying if you're adding or borrowing if you're subtracting, really it's just regrouping. It's really going to make people understand regrouping, okay? And this is one of the main reasons that I do it with the students that I teach. Number three, they develop the ability to generalize about numbers by doing this, right? Okay, wait a minute, if I had these two numbers, that means I would have had to regroup, but there's nothing in my hundreds place. Okay, so you're gonna be able to start generalizing about numbers and it's gonna make when you go back and do normal addition and normal subtraction, normal multiplication, seem like child's play. Number four, this is a big one, problem solving strategies, okay? We are growing students who do not have problem solving strategies because they just type everything into a calculator, right? Or we don't actually make them work through things, okay? Um, you're gonna be able to make organized lists, okay? That's one strategy to do this. You're gonna have to work backwards. Uh, you might have to do even a guess and check, okay? But it's gonna take problem solving strategies. 
And then on top of that, it's going to teach self-regulation and a growth mindset. All right. You're a lot of students and a lot of people are not going to be able to look at these and be able to solve them without showing any work. So you have to have that growth mindset. You have to fail. You have to try something. And when it doesn't work, you have to go back and adjust what you did. Okay. And there are awesome benefits to doing this. So if you are a teacher, I encourage you to use them. If you're a student watching this video, I encourage you to do them. And if you're a parent, all right, don't be frustrated. Don't break the pencil in half like this guy just did, right? Let your students struggle, struggle with them, and experience these awesome benefits that come with this, okay? A lot of you might be asking, great, but I came here to learn how to solve it. You clicked on the wrong video, right? This is what they were. Go ahead and click on our adding. Uh, we have some. We have a video on how to add, how to subtract, and then how to even do these operations with base five. So if you're looking for one of those, click on one of those videos, learn the thought process, the problem solving strategies that we teach to solve them and enjoy being challenged by math. Thank you so much for checking us out. Again, check out our Crypto Rhythm playlist on our homepage. We would love for you to subscribe and check out all our songs and videos and resources that we have. Thank you again. We appreciate you. Instructor Beats, out.